The first programming language will make or break an aspiring developer. And that matters if you're helping a friend deciding what programming language they first should start with, or if it's your own journey. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. Now, Go is a contested language. Most developers hate or love Go, but I argue that Go is one of the best, if not the best language to begin with. What you're thinking, but please watch the video through before you make a rage comment about how Go is a terrible programming language. I know people really dislike Go, and there's a lot of reasons for that, but I think I have some pretty good points on why you should start with Go. Also, why am I in the kitchen? I'm not uh, doing food on YouTube. So yeah, see you. There's three reasons why you should go with Go as your first programming language. I, I know, terrible pun, but that's how it is. Number one, you don't know where to start or more importantly, where to stop. Stop it. Get some help. If you have a language like C++ or JavaScript, it will be very hard for you to have a good journey. Well, with JavaScript, for example, should you go with CommonJS? What about Angular, React, and Vue.js? What about build systems? But are we even doing front-end? I heard the back-end is even better. Oh, hell no! It's a very scattered ecosystem. Now with Go. Go is an extremely simple programming language and you focus on building stuff instead of deciding and getting a deciding fatigue. Motivation is super important for you to stick around. And this is point number two. When you feel like you learned something, you want to continue because that's motivation. And Go is very rigid programming language, which is why some people hate it and some people love it. But it fits very coherently together. And that means that you will end up spending your time on algorithms, good code, how to combine things in an appropriate manner, and not deciding the framework that you're gonna work with, or the build system, or anything like that. Salary is number three, and it's probably the most important thing for an aspiring developer. Stakes cost money, and you need them to survive and thrive. I need money. So you might argue that there are more JavaScript jobs, or even PHP jobs, if you're that perverted or that Erlang pays better. And you would be right, but those are not important for an aspiring developer. What is important though is when you can get paid. The faster, the better. Python, which is my favorite program language, will probably take you a few years before you can be really valuable to a company. JavaScript, probably the same. C++, probably 20 years. <laughs> um, but with Go, you will probably be able to already be experienced enough to earn a living in three to six months if you're lucky to find a company that will hire you. And it might even be faster if you have a degree or some knowledge in mathematics or physics or logic. That is a game changer for aspiring developers because that means they don't have to invest that much time before they can see a reward payment for their investment. And you might not want to stay with Go, but at least now you have a foundation in building good algorithms, putting code well together, how things should be. And so when you go to JavaScript or Python or whatever, it's gonna be very easy for you to, oh, this is just a different syntax and I just uh, need to learn a library. Okay, the library is a little bit fancy and I have to spend some time there, but at least you know the foundation, the core of what you're doing. Here at the end, I want to say that Go, of course, is not the only solution, but it is an easier path. I started myself with assembler, basic, and batch scripts. Not batch scripts, but batch scripts. And uh, yeah, I know I'm old, but uh, this was a lot harder for me to start than it would be for you to start with Go or your friend to start with Go. And you might as well take the easier path with the least resistance. You take the blue pill. In this case, because you will have an uphill battle learning, but it will be a fun battle learning. Tell me in the comment section below if you feel the same. I thought a lot about this because a lot of people wanted to start in IT and they asked me what kind of programming language. And I always suggested JavaScript or Python, but I think right now the best thing is to go with Go. And I'll see you in the next one. That is, of course, if you hit that big, beautiful subscribe button. Cheers. Oh, by the way, I made a video here highlighting why you should use Go as a business owner. You might want to check that out.